Hi, my name is Danielle Dockery. Today we are going to discuss the use of relays in a test-related environment. Relays are used everywhere in residential and commercial applications. In your home alone, relays control refrigerators, wash machines, dishwashers, and even your heating and air conditioning units. In industrial applications, relay can even be used to control other hardware or instruments by telling the instruments when to move and or record. Today we will be using relays related to our system 8000 to simulate a couple of situations previously mentioned. To do so, we will start with a micro measurement strain gauge which is bonded atop this beam here and the gauge will act as our trigger source for the first application. The gauge is bonded to a simple cantilever beam and that beam will then be deflected to represent a particular relay base condition. So for the first application that I'm going to emulate, we're going to consider a simple household wash machine. And obviously within a wash machine, you're going to have a tub and that tub generally is filled with water. But our goal is to make sure that that tub doesn't overflow onto our floor. So one option would be to simply have someone stand there, watch the tub as it fills, and eventually press a switch or turn off a switch saying, hey, I've reached that condition. I have enough water in the tub. But obviously in this particular application, that means someone needs to stand there indefinitely to, to monitor what's going on. Another alternative to that would be simply using a relay to monitor the amount of water that is actually in the tub itself. So if you think about a standard household washing machine, most of them have somewhere around 30 to 40 gallons before they reach what is considered a full load of water in the tub itself. So what we're going to do with the water contained in this cup is we're going to simulate the amount of force needed to tell this relay, hey, I've reached the critical amount of water in the tub. Please shut off the water. So right now, I'm going to simply pour directly into the cup water. And I'll stop here for a second because we can see that the gallons as represented by the output from the strain gauge is going up. We're now at about seven gallons of water. We've set a condition to really shut this down right at 30 gallons. So I'll continue to add water. We can see again we're up to 20 gallons. Nothing has happened so we know that we need to continue to fill the tub. Again I will add additional water we're very, very close, but you can tell the relay has not fired to shut down the filling of the tank. So a couple of more drops here. And now we've gotten a warning. That's telling us we've reached our critical mass. We're there. We should not have any more water added to this tub. And ultimately, the switch will turn off the water flow and end the amount of water that we see going into the tank. So this is a perfect example of using a relay to prevent something from happening. In this case, an overflow of water. The next condition that we're going to simulate is going to be that of a PC, which as you know has a CPU that gets pretty hot as that CPU is running. So a couple of changes here will help us to do this. I'm going to remove the sound, close the circuit here, and simply add one more wire to simulate now the fan running inside your PC. And that fan will continue to run to cool down the CPU until it reaches a, a desired temperature. So most CPUs in a computer, when they get to about 190 to 195 degrees, they're reaching that point where they may start to fail. So the fan should be coming on to do some work to cool them off. Right now we're sitting at what would be a simulated 197 degrees Fahrenheit inside our computer. So to cool this down, again, we need the fans to come on and do that work. 
But since the fans are already running now and working to cool it down, we need to tell the fans, hey, you've done enough work, shut down, the CPU is cool enough. So we're gonna simulate that by using cold spray. And I've got the cold spray here in my hand. And just by spraying this thermocouple, you can see now the fan has actually stopped moving. And as we monitor the temperature, simulating the CPU heating back up again, eventually we'll get to our critical temperature, our minimal temperature, and the fans will what, come on again and start to cool down the CPU once again. So we're, oh, we just had the action kick on right around 170 degrees or so. So these are basic applications of relay. But as I said before, you can also use a relay to send a message to another system. So the 8000 could easily send a message from itself over to, let's say, an MTS or Instron test frame to be able to tell the frame to either start the crosshead to move or tell it to stop the crosshead from moving. Um, those are just a couple of examples of how we can use the relays. So if you want to find out a little more about the 8000 system and its relay capabilities, simply go to our measure, micro measurements page www.micro-measurements.com and click on the instruments link. Thank you.